Welcome to Mortal Media Channel. Today we're going to review the official Microsoft Outlook app for Android phones and tablets. It is an excellent application and it is available at uh, Google Play Store. Uh, you can simply go uh, to Google Play Store, look for Microsoft Outlook and download and install it from there. Well, let's dive in. Once you have your client set up, and I'm going to quickly show you uh, what type of accounts it supports, and I'm going to click Add Account here, uh, Microsoft Outlook, and as you can see, it supports multiple different type of accounts, and those are set up for you that you can configure them with a basically a click, you know, as long as you know your e email address and password, that is it. So you have uh, Office 365, which is uh, Microsoft service. You have Outlook, which is uh, MSN uh, email, uh, also Microsoft uh, type of service. And you have Exchange, which is Microsoft, great Microsoft product, ba which uh, on which uh, Office 365 and Outlook is based on. But this is on premises. It's typically a, typically a corporate type of product. You also do uh, stop stuff like you can see in others. Yahoo, iCloud, Google, and Advanced, which is uh, IMAP type of email. I have one configured already, so I'm going to simply go ahead and show you the application. As you can see, uh, uh, the, it's got a very pleasant view, and by simply clicking the email, you're going to get a view of it on a tablet to the side. If you're looking at the phone, it's going to show it to you full screen, and you can definitely uh, then uh, delete email, reply to email right here, uh, forward it, do whatever you need, just like you would in a typical Outlook. Uh, you can create a new email by clicking uh, here on this little pen, okay? And uh, you can attach, uh, create attachments. You can actually uh, do signatures, do all, all kind of stuff that you need, uh, you know, text. To, type your email just like you would normal email which is excellent. Uh, you also have at the bottom you have uh, calendars and as you can see I created a task calendar here. You have uh, a files that you can keep uh, stored uh, for you when you're on the road if you need to pull them up really quick and you have contacts. Just so you know those contacts are also imported uh, into your normal um, calendar, I'm sorry, contact list. Uh, so it's not just here in Outlook, it's in your con contact list so you can synchronize uh, with your phone. If you can make phone calls, you can send emails for straight right from there, which is very, very good. And uh, the cool part uh, also is uh, filters, which is also available in Outlook, but it's very simple here. You simply click a little filter icon and you have all your options and all messages, unread, flagged, and messages with attachments. My favorite one is on red. When you select that, this way you're only seeing a new messages coming in. And once you read them, they don't, you know, show in for you unless you go ahead and clear the filter um, so you can see uh, the message again. The other options you have is well, obviously you can set up more than one account on this thing. You're not uh, you're not uh, restricted to one or single email. You can have multiple accounts from different services, and they all all work very well together. And based on that, you can also create signatures for emails that are specific to each account um, in here. So if you have one email account. You create one signature. You have multiple. You can assign it specific to specific accounts. So when you create an email going out of that account, it attaches appropriate signature to it. Uh, again, that's a feature of Microsoft Outlook available on desktop uh, and the um, Mac. Uh, there's also a lot of different uh, notification features that are obviously good for phone, and you can uh, go through those and configure them the way you like it. Uh, so you don't have to, you know, deal with notifications or you want to deal with notifications. You can configure it based on the phone configuration or separately uh, the, customize it uh, for you and, and, and stuff like that. It's a great, again, it's a great email client. Um, by far the best one I've used till this day. And I definitely recommend for you to try it, especially if you're not liking the native um, Android client. Thank you for watching.
If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up and always make sure to subscribe for more educational, excited videos. Thank you.